Okay, Coach, thank you. We are about 4,300 miles away from you there in Orlando as we come to you from the European home of the NFL, London, England. Coming up, another edition of the NFL International Series, and it should be a good one between the Carolina Panthers and our home team. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. A first carry for Christian McCaffrey, who made his first Pro Bowl last year. A bad start there. A big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because when they're hoping... This big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. A shotgun snap for Newton. That's going to be caught by Samuel. Pass the 20. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, 26 yards. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. From the red zone now, Newton. And open here is Hogan. He's got it. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this and, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't seem to want it. You, know, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense. Countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Second and goal from the six this time. Newton now to throw. Pass incomplete. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas, but now it's third and goal. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Now it's Newton. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? And the 
10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Tampa Bay getting the football back here in a second CD. I want to revisit that one-point loss to New York because, look, Matt Gay, the rookie, had a chip shot 34-yard field goal to try to win it, missed it, and that made that loss that much harder to swallow. Yeah, but you wonder about Tampa having an 18-point lead and letting it get to that, to where you have to rely on the kicker to try and win the game. Normally under Bruce Arians, doesn't matter whether you're up 18, 8, 1, he continues to attack. I bet he does the rest of the season. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping... Those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Andre Ellington, his first carry. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. Hey, ready? Black, we got that. From the gun, Winston. And a throw there going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Fourth down, and the Bucks trot out the former 49er Bradley Pinion to punt it. Back deep for the Panthers, D.J. Moore. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Carolina's offense coming back out here. Now, earlier, Charles, you and I talked about the Panthers' 38-20 win over Arizona. Got them their first win of the season, and Kyle Allen was great. But I want to talk about the defense now. They sacked Kyler Murray eight times in that game. Led by Super Mario Addison with three himself. They also picked him off twice. That was Dante Action Jackson getting both of those. There's room for hope in Carolina because if the defense continues to play like that, the offense will do its part. How about run CMC, Christian McCaffrey? 188 all-purpose yards, including well over 100 on the ground, and a big sprint for a touchdown. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. To the set. Right set is three. You, you, you. You, you, you. There's Newton now on second down. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. That's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. The third down run gets them nothing. Usually the offense has an answer to anything a defense throws at them, including a safety valve. And that's what they did on that play. They went there, but the defense still made an excellent play and held them to no game. 
So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Now the Buccaneer offense set to take over again. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. They'll start on the ground with Barber, and he'll get this one up to the 26. Luke Keekley, the all-pro linebacker, in on the stop. When we talk about Luke Keekley, you can't talk about his overall game without talking about his intelligence and how he controls the whole defense. He quarterbacks that defense, and at times, why don't you make checks just like a quarterback would on offense to get them into the right defense? They definitely were on that play. How about that finish? Holding that to a minimal game. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Working out of the gun, Winston. And that's complete. It's Allington. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Eight yards, first down as they're able to convert. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. So a decent game, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Winston gives to Barber. In on the tackle there, Luke Keekley. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. On the ground, Ellington. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Up front, the struggles continue for this offense among the line. What can they do? Change the play calling? What? I think part of that, yes, changing some of the play calls, some screens, some draws, some misdirection. You want to run any type of a play that will influence these guys to continue to get upfield and find a way to use that against them and slip things in behind them. So some quick passes could work as well. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. The one with the dime look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he'll punt it away for the second time. So possession goes over here on the punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. Carolina getting set to take the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Only a couple there is going to be brought down about the 28. You got it. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Throwing on second and eight. Newton, and that's caught. It's Hogan. 
He'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Newton looking to throw on third and one. And he finds a man. It's McCaffrey. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. This is something that we expected to see McCaffrey used out of the backfield. 107 catches in 2018, the most in one season by an NFL running back. Newton on first down. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and that'll be second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. And well, this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Well, you got a young quarterback. You know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best. They're armed. He's, he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target, but didn't have the proper footwork to increase his accuracy. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Devin White, the rookie out of LSU, there to bat that one away. Here's Michael Pilardi now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Here's Winston. That's into the hands of the tight end, Leggett. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Now we're going to get a timeout. Appears we've got an injured Buccaneer. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Now second and seven from the 23. I got you On second down, Barber. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Winston. And he's got a man. It's the tight end, Howard, complete. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Winston leaves it with Barber on the draw. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football as they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Off the play fake, Winston. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. 
But one thing's for sure, when you've got a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you're going to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. Third and short yardage, Winston. And that's complete. It's Watson. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That one goes for 29 yards on third down. First time into the red zone for the Buccaneers. They've got a first and 10 at the 15. Back to the running game with Barber. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Peyton Barber, a surprise workhorse for the Buccaneers in 2018. I don't think they expected him to have 234 carries, but he certainly felt like he could carry the load and just carried it there for a nice game. On second down and four, Winston. And he's got it. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Winston now. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Anthony Auclair there to make the grab. And the Bucs have taken the lead. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody, but those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. It, the defense just has to hate those guys. This drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have either with size, speed, or maybe even just strength. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. After the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. Noah Spence in on the stop. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Cam's going to run the option right. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 11 yards there, first down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. They'll try the air now with Newton. He gets it to Thomas. 
That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Throwing on third down, Newton. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. Did you see that route the way that I did? Yeah. I thought he was trying to get deep. Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not he came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. On first and 10, Newton. And Thomas has it. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is. And they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice... Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. The 30. 10. And he returns it to the end zone. A fumble recovery touchdown for the Bucs. They give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice to such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you don't, do I ever. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and that pushes the lead up to 11. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now onto the field, here come the Panthers. They trail now 14-3, an 11-point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll fake the handoff. Now Newton. Oh, that was dangerous. Threw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. Charles, before the game, you and I were looking at the still undefeated teams in the league, and Detroit's technically won a 2-0-1, but let's look at the 3-0 teams. The Bills, Patriots, Chiefs, Cowboys, Rams, 49ers, and Packers. I'm guessing if I ask you who would lose first, you might say Buffalo, because they play New England this weekend. <laughs> I think you're right about that, because that's what you look at. What's the schedule tell us? We know the 49ers are safe because they got an open week coming, so they should be okay on that one. But you would say Buffalo, even though they're at home, New England gets them. But as a wild card, putting them on upset alert, Green Bay on Thursday night with a desperate Philadelphia team coming in. You know, you've got to be really careful with that, despite the fact Green Bay's defense has been so impressive in the early going. On first down, this is McCaffrey. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. The last run got six, now second and four. To throw is Newton. And he's going to find Hogan here, complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. 
A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. McCaffrey on the counter. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. He really hasn't been able to get on track running the football, averaging less than four yards a carry. Yeah, I think that they're going to enjoy the film session because all the defenders are filling their proper gaps on just about every play. And you know what they always say for a defensive coach, when I click off this film, I better see 11 jerseys in the picture going after the ball carrier. On second down, McCaffrey. The ball's out. McCaffrey lost it. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. Didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Hey, we gotta get to the ball, D. We gotta get to the push. To throw is Winston. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver, Andre Ellington, and it's third down. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. to so they recovered the fumble, but ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position to put six on the board. Ended up settling for three. After the main field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. And the Panthers coming out now. And last time the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I if they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. On second and seven, Newton, he finds his man, the tight end Olsen. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Yeah, Greg Olson's back for his 13th NFL season. The last nine have been in a Panthers uniform. Only nine games for him a year ago, seven the season before due to injuries. But when healthy, a thousand yard receiver in 2014, 15, and 16. And pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. 
Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Now a run with McCaffrey. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves him needing about seven here on third down. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Throwing is Newton. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up. So the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. Yeah, he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And you can't do it much better than that. This ball kicks out of bounds at the four-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Ready. Superb. Black 25. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. Watch the screen. Cut. <laughs> And Tampa Bay trots out there now. Throwing on second and three. Winston. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. 14 yards there and a bucket here, first down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Winston out of throw on first down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. Ready. Two ladies. Check Mike 54. Mike 54. I'm coming. Let's go. Throwing. Winston. And Blake, the tight end's got it. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Bucks on third down. They've hit it 50%. Three of six to this point. This is third and seven. Jameis to throw it. And that's complete. It's Allington. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he's on to punt for Tampa Bay. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But it's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. 
see if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. All right, we got a second here. Let's have some fun. Let's be cheesy, because why not? <laughs> so we had the 71st Emmys no on wine. Sunday. No <laughs> just, see, just straight cheese. 71st Emmys on Sunday. So let's hand out a few awards. Okay. Let's start with best supporting actor right now in the NFL. Who are you going with? I'm going with the mustache man. Gardner Minshew in Jacksonville. Because despite the fact that they're one and two, got their first win last Thursday against Tennessee, he stepped in week one and set a record for rookie quarterbacks. What was he, 22 of 25 throwing in that game? 88% right out of the gate. And it's continued good play since then. And let's face it, the mustache mania is sweeping Duval County as well as the rest of the state of Florida. Best actor in a lead role, I'm assuming you're going Mahomes. You have to, because we kept saying he couldn't possibly do what he did last year. He's on a pace to eclipse what he did last year in every category. And by the way, hasn't thrown an interception yet, and his team's undefeated at 3-0. All right, one more best director, head coach. Who you got? I'm going to go each conference. AFC, Sean McDermott, Buffalo Bills, off to a 3-0 start. I'm not sure how many people saw that one coming. And then in the NFC, finally fulfilling their promise here in the early going, the San Francisco 49ers and Kyle Shanahan, also undefeated, getting ready to take on the Los Angeles Rams for supremacy in the NFC West in the upcoming weeks. So out come the Bucks now. You've got under a minute to go here until halftime. you got the good-sized lead. No need to do anything crazy. No, there really is no need to do anything crazy. The smart play, go ahead and take your lead into the locker room and then try and add to it in the second half. But there's a part of me that looks at this and says, First half going my way. I have a little bit of a cushion. Let's go ahead and try and extend things. If you've got some good plays drawn up, you might want to think about them right here. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Working out of the gun, Winston. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. And this is caught by Evans. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. It'll be a gain of three on what should be the final play of this first half. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, this will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. They built a good first-half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spend the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half nice first half that we've had guys but be prepared for some change-ups we're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half see how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 15 yards as tampa bay picks up the first sometimes it's hard to believe but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. It's a gain of 16, first down Tampa Bay. The goal for any offense versus his own defense Find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Barber on first and ten. 
Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. This is Ellington. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Play fake, Winston. He's got Evans. First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. I don't know about you, but I feel like there's a little extra juice when you see Jameis Winston connect with Mike Evans early. And when they do it often, this team is really energized. Well, and Evans at 6'5", those long arms, it's so tough to defend. And he surprises you with how fast he is because he looks like he's just loping along. And all of a sudden, you're 10 yards behind him, and Jameis Winston finds him. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 15 yards as Tampa Bay picks up the first. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs. Hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it in, throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. To throw, Winston. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. The all-pro linebacker, Luke Keekley right there on the coverage, stride for stride. And now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. From 13 yards out as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. To the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. A gain of three, second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. The, 
They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. Ready? Ready? It's Mike 45. I'm here all day. Ready? And open here is Hogan. He's got it. And those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. Ready? I said it's three. Let's go, tackle. Let's go. We got this. We got this. McCaffrey following the penalty. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Levante David in on the tackle. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Ready. Ready. Check, check. Watch it before. Watch it before. Guys, stay situation. Ready. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Yeah, that backs yeah. him up one yard and brings up third down. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. And I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him. And down he goes, a bucket air sack. Shaquille Barrett picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Looks like another empty possession here, partner. And I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I, I think you're exactly right. They got to find some answers quickly. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. That'll be a 49-yard punt, six yards there on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Running his barber. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. First down, they go with Barber again. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Here's Barber. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. On third and one, here's Winston. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And a sack by one of the most consistent D linemen in the game, Gerald McCoy. 
Well, they only had a yard to go. They try to pass the football. Defense blitz. Defense got there. Yeah, I think on this one, this is probably good scouting, understanding a few tendencies and figuring out that, hey, they may take a shot. And they dialed up the pressure and got to him. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Carolina getting set to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Out of the pistol, McCaffrey. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. Stepping up, he'll try and run. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Now whistles. Flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. The shotgun snap for Newton. And he's got the hook up to Moore. Seven yards on the play. And that's going to lead to a third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Out of the gun, Newton. And he finds a man. It's awesome. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What did the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Christian McCaffrey, last year's catch leader among running backs, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. So they look like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Newton. And they've got the hookup. This is Olsen. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on catching the ball and not much run after the catch this offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down they'll run with McCaffrey but he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage call it no gain that time and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one going to get to the line to run another play so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close we'll return with more after this you're watching the nfl on ea sports a critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing so they'll go for it on fourth down they go with the option on fourth down left side fights through and now a crease touchdown carolina Cam Newton, 39 yards. And the Panthers are able to cut into this lead. 
So a designed run all the way, and he took it the distance. I don't know that anybody saw that coming. Well, on this play, how about the vision of him being able to see the open field, make his move, and get there? Oftentimes, defenses have a spy for the quarterback position to try and take care of it. On that play, if they did, it certainly is lost. Work. Yeah, there's no <laughs> doubt. Extra point try, good by Gano, and that cuts the lead to 24-10. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Now the Buccaneers offensive unit back out on the field. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Check, check. On first and 10, Winston. He completes it to Evans. First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? Atlanta had the lead against New England, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. Jameis now on first down. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to find O.J. Howard. That'll bring up second down. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. On second down now. It's Barber, and he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. So a third and nine, and six defensive backs out there in the dime. Patrolling the passing lanes. Now Ellington. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. Well, they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. And that is very well done there, as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. Now, if you're a fan of punting, this game's for you. He's been out there quite a bit. That one may be his best yet. Yeah, he certainly got his leg loose by now. It kind of reminds me of my college football coach, John Majors. He loved the punting game because he liked the positioning, the field position, and he loved to play defense. Here's McCaffrey. And they'll hit him for a loss as he's back to his two-yard line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give him a lot of confidence to help turn things around. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Here's Newton. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can. And that's what he's done very well in this game. From the gun on third down, Newton. Got his target, Samuel. 
And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Give him 18. It's a Carolina first down. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. And avoids the contact by sliding. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Ready, I get it. Right three. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Yeah. Looking to throw again on second down. Newton, and that's caught. It's Hogan. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Running, just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now Newton, and he's going to find Hogan here, complete. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Six yards the pickup, and that's a first down. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get up field for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. Newton now to throw. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. To throw again on second down. Newton, they'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen, and it sets up a third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Newton throwing again. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. A little bit of daylight on that first down run sets him up nicely. Eight yards on the carry. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. This is caught, and they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. No game there, and it's going to set up second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire? And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Panthers. Olsen. Two yards on the touchdown there as his guys are back within a single score. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Gano the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter.
Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Again, they run with Ellington. He'll have a first down past the 40 and all the way up to the 45-yard line. 16 yards of first down. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. Now a first down run is snipped out from the start as he'll drop him for a loss of four. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And it'll bring up a second and 14. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. Second and long, but you got to figure this almost certainly another run. They'll stay on the ground with Barber. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. On third down, here comes Barber. And to the 46, he goes and no further. So he is well short of the first down marker. Here's Bradley Pinion now. He's been terrific so far. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. So now Newton and the Panthers down 24-17. A minute 46 to go. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. Newton sliding out of the pocket and he slides to avoid the hit he'll get 10 there all on his own but it'll be second down one thing that makes him so tough in these two minute drills you got to take into consideration he's mobile and that's a big plus for him but he also has to be careful with that mobility sometimes getting rid of the ball and stopping the clock is more important than running around and maybe taking a sack back to throw and he'll slide down to avoid the tackle newton able to use those legs and get past the marker to pick up the first how many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Newton to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And Dominican Sue in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. 
Clock rolling here, about to hit 30 seconds. Now Newton. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Back-to-back -back big plays defensively. First the sack. Now they force the incompletion on third and long. Things looking pretty good for them. And this is where they have to be careful because they've got the momentum going their way. They will be really amped up to get to the quarterback. Look out. Draw, screen, something that could be used against them. They'll look to throw. They will find his man. That's Hogan complete. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. throw deep downfield and that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds Greg Olson was the intended target and that'll bring up second down so after the incompletion on first now second and ten back to throw He's going to let it fly. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. One last throw here for Newton. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. And Charles, in this one, the fourth quarter became a lot more interesting, I know, than I anticipated. Probably you anticipated a comeback bid falling just a little bit short. You're never supposed to count a team out. And I know we did not air. But mentally, I just didn't see this type of a comeback, especially one that put them in a position to put the real pressure on them down the stretch. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say cheerio from London.